The OK Corral is the battlefield And a couple of cowboys will die And a couple of lawmen will ride Many of those who come to the TX Ranch want to experience a taste of the Old West. Well, you've come to the right place because the ranch itself dates back to the Wild West. Not long after that notorious gunfight at the OK Corral, the TX Ranch was founded. In 1894, my great granddad came up with the railroad from Kansas and when he got to where the town of Lovell is now, he decided that'd be a good place to homestead. And, uh, 1895, he went down to Texas and bought 300 cows off the TX Ranch in Texas and drove them up, and that was the beginning of the TX Ranch. Yes, sir. Here's your beefsteak starting to you from out here in the range country. Good that man was William Tillett, who married Bessie Strong Tillett, pictured here. That first herd of cattle was bought by her father, Frank Strong, from Amarillo in Texas. It was back in the 1970s that Hip's mother, Abby, decided to take in guests on the ranch. Richard Nixon put a freeze on beef in 1971, and, and by the mid-70s, a lot of uh, agriculture people were going broken, so it's just another way to produce an income, a separate income, rather than from the livestock, and, and it sure has worked both for the ranch and the guests, I think. That change to guest ranching coincided with the arrival in town of a girl called Loretta. And as they say, the rest is now history. She, of course, is married to Hip. I came out here to, with a girlfriend, and we were just here mostly to see the Pryor Mountain Wild Mustang. And then she knew the Tillip family, and so we were invited to stay with them for while we were here, so that's how I met them. I used to be out here most of the time, and then um, and Abby, Abby, Hip's mother, used to do the, the business part of it, and, um, and then... Then she's, you know, gotten older, and then so then I took. Um, she asked me if I would do it, and so then I started doing the um, advertising through the internet and and uh, email type instead of paper and pencil, and and so that's how I started anyway. I think I've been doing it since around 2001, 2002, something like that. The couple's daughter, Desiree, is an active member of the TX team and works closely with the guests, together with Ryan, affectionately known as Poncho. And this is the next generation of Tillits on the TX. The couple's daughter, Sheena, has two young girls, and, I think you'll agree, they're already looking comfy in the saddle. Farming is still a tough life, especially beef farming. But thanks to a combination of the income generated by the guest ranchers and the commitment of the Tillett family, it seems that the tradition of the TX will continue in the future. It's a way of life that I don't want to see stopped. I like to travel once in a while to an end. To see this kind of country, you almost have to get away from the freeway and, and go somewhere where you can see this kind of country. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful country and, and it's worth sharing with other people. Do you think your grandfather would be approve and be proud of, of oh, what you built? Oh, I think so. I think so. <laughs> yeah.